Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new week. Yesterday was Sunday. Today is the first weekday of the week. And do you know what that is? Well, you probably can't see it because it's so far away, but it starts with an M. Monday. This is Monday. Today is Monday, April. It's another T number. Ooh. It's the last T number. 19. This is 19. Today is Monday, April 19, 2021. Now, this says April, and I want to show you a little trick. A in April is saying its name. It's a long A sound. April. A also says what? What's A say when it's a short vowel? Ah. How do we know it's not April? April is how many syllables? Hmm. Hmm. Two syllables. A. Hmm. Hmm. A is the last letter in the syllable, in the first syllable. It's the only letter in the first syllable. Mm -hmm. A pro. And whenever A is the last letter in a syllable, it says its name. All right. That's a little bit tricky, but I just wanted you to know because some of your brains are so big, you might remember that. Mm -hmm. A pro. All right. April 19th. New week this week. We've got some new sight words. We've got some letters that we're reviewing. Let's go over our letters real quick. Well, J is one of them that you're reviewing. Q is the other one. Now, Q is a special letter because it has a best friend. Do you know who, who Q's best friend is? Here's the uppercase Q, and here's the lowercase Q. It's not a P, it's a Q. Q has a best friend. It's a vowel. Nope, not I. Nope, not, not A. Q's best friend, what's that ember? Yes, U. Q has a best friend. And its name is U. Now, whenever you see Q, U's always going to be with Q because it's its best friend. So whenever you write a word and it's qu, qu, quiet, qu, qu, quit, qu, quiet, qu, it, U is always going to be with Q because they're best friends. All right. Sometimes, though, when you have a best friend, they play with other friends. That's okay. That's okay. Just because they play with somebody else doesn't mean they're never going to play with you again. So Q's best friend, U, sometimes says, hey, I'm going to go play with somebody else. So sometimes we see U. And no Q. Under. That's okay. He's playing with somebody else. Up. Up. No qua. No qua in that. Under. Up. U is by itself. But Q always plays with his best friend U. Q and U. Now sometimes letters, well goodness, they don't even play with anybody. They play by themselves. Like I and A. They just play by themselves. They don't have any friends to play with. But that's okay because sometimes they get to play with other letters. Sometimes they don't want to. That's all right. Okay. So whenever you are learning about Q this week, make sure you know that it always, Q is always with its best friend U. All right. I'm not going to write a sentence with our sight words this week, 
I'm only going to write the ciphers. You can write a sentence with them. Well, if your brain is big enough, if your brain is growing so much. All right, the first sight word starts with an H. And it has three letters. Hmm. Do you know what that word is? Well, let's cover up this H. Oh, another sight word. What is that? Not is. Is. This is is. So if you have is and you put a at the beginning, what does it say? That's right, Austin. His. His. Like it is his ball. Please give it back to him. The next sight word also starts with an H. Hmm. You know what that says? Kaya knows. His H says. So we know that this starts with. Hmm. What does ER say? Okay, whenever there's a vowel in front of an R, er, er, kind of sounds like that R sound, ruff, ruff, er, her, his, her, oh, that is his ball, but that is her puzzle. Okay, three letters. They all start with an H, and they have a vowel in the middle. I, E, is, her. All right, boys and girls. Now, let me see what we're learning this week. Okay. Well, we've been learning about this a lot of the school year, but I know that this week you are specifically learning about it in your ELA units. Author Illustrator. Hmm. <sighs> Who's the author? Yes, that's right, Ava. The author writes the words in a book. The author is who makes the book, who writes it. What's an illustrator? Charlize knows an illustrator is who draws the pictures. Now, you all are very good illustrators. You're pretty good at drawing pictures. Maybe one day you will be able to write a book and illustrate pictures. Now, we've been reading Magic Treehouse books. Do you remember the author and illustrator of those books? She has first name, middle name, and a last name. Mary Pope. Yep, Osborne. Mary Pope Osborne. She is a very good author because she writes chapter books. Chapter books have a lot of words. She is a good illustrator too, but she doesn't have as many pictures in her books. Now, I've got some books. I've got some books. I'm not going to read them. No, we don't have time to read all those books. But I'm going to show you because they're some of my favorite authors and illustrators. All right. Because they are both. Who's that? Spot. Spot the dog. Where's Spot is the title of this book. And do you remember who the author is? Eric Hill. Eric Hill's the author. He is also the illustrator. He does both. So he is very talented. Eric Hill. Okay. Oh, I don't think, I'm not sure if you know this one. It has a medal on it. That means it's a very good book. Inch by Inch is the title. And, oh, our sight word from a couple weeks ago. <gasps> by, B-Y, by Leo Leone. 
by Leo Leone. I like Leo Leone because, well, he has good books. Alright, now this is not one of my favorite authors, but he is also an illustrator, Eric Carl. Now notice, it doesn't say by there, it just says his name, Eric Carl. And that's the very quiet cricket. Who's this author? By Dr. Seuss. This is the foot book. Now, Dr. Seuss has a lot of wacky books. And um, this one's fiction, definitely, because that's a pretend thing. That thing is pretend. Cats don't really wear hats. Ooh, now these last two books, they have different characters in them, but they're written and illustrated by the same person. Yep, do you know who the author and illustrator of these are? Mo Willems. Yes, Elephant and Piggy books are written by Mo Willems. <gasps> B.Y. By the Y is saying I by Mo Willems. Now, Mo Willems has two characters in these books, Elephant and Piggy, but he also has a different character, the Pigeon. Now, down here, it doesn't say by Mo Willems, it says words and pictures by Mo Willems. That means that he wrote the words, he's the author, and he drew the pictures. He's the illustrator. Hmm. Maybe you can make your own book, your own story, and uh, maybe you can be the author and the illustrator. All right, boys and girls, well, that's all the time we have for today. I will see you next time on Calendar. Don't forget.